I really, really love music so much. It's the whole, it's everything for me, you know? It's the way I see the whole universe. I went to college um, just planning to study music and um, it wasn't a conservatory or anything, just a very, very cool liberal um, college actually near, relatively near Portland. Um, and uh, the, the, the big music class that was being offered that that year was Southeast Asian performing arts and culture, and I ended up studying Indonesian music and a bunch of other stuff, and that's what kind of started it all. And I don't leave cause I'm afraid my parents are musical, and my family is very musical. And um, there's always been a great appreciation for, for music. Uh, my grandpa wrote a movie called Round Midnight, which is about the jazz scene in Paris with De Dexter Gordon and Herbie Hancock and all those guys starting it. And, um, you know, and, I mean, it's, it's definitely a part of my blood. Uh, my mom has worked in music. She was, there was a, used to be a show called Don Kirshner's Rock Concert. And my mom produced that show when, when she was very young, actually. When, when I was born, she was producing it. And so I kind of grew up on, you know, in the offices there on the set. And, you know, as an infant, I saw Chuck Berry and James Brown and Rolling Stones and all, you know, all that stuff. And, um, you know, but the majority of my family is uh, involved in the film and television industry, which, although similar, is really different from the music industry. Can you tell us a little bit about the dues that you've paid on the way um, uh, to your first major label release? Um, paying dues? I don't know. I mean, I, I really I enjoy the process of learning, and so when I first started out, I was playing with and working as a musical director and stuff like that for a bunch of hip-hop and like R&B and funk bands and stuff like that around LA and um, and part of the reason I wanted to do that before I put my own project together was because I wanted to learn I didn't you know I wanted to go go into my own thing with a, with a lot of experience a lot of knowledge and, and all that stuff and I'm so glad I did because thinking back I mean the you know I had a lot to learn and I think I think uh, it's that type of industry. It's, it requires, there's a learning curve big time. And so that's why, that's why everybody pays their dues, you know. Nobody rides for free in this, in this business. And that's, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. You know, it's, it's something where, um, uh, uh, although it may not seem like it all the time, where hard work, diligence, and talent so and persistence easy. really do You have a hip-hop background, yet your own material doesn't seem to reflect that. Is that a testament to your love for a variety of sounds? All of my influences and all of my experience in music finds its way in there in one way or another. You know, I don't think they're, I, I think they're pretty much inseparable. In, in a sense, it is testament to the kind of variety and, and uh, diversity of, of the music that I'm into. So, Keaton, what were some of the biggest challenges in making this CD? One of the challenges was kind of choosing what songs to go on it because I have a lot of songs and there were a lot of songs that that myself and my whole team were kind of um, thinking about going on, you know, going on this record. Actually, we recorded basic tracks for I think 23 songs and there's I think 11 songs or something like that on there. You know, so um, uh, and it wasn't because those were the only 11 that were that were good out of the 23. It was seriously a very, very difficult decision between each one. One of the things about this record is that I I took from songs that are, you know, mo very recent to in the middle, to ones that I recorded a long time ago that never came out, to ones that I didn't record a long time ago that never came out. So it's like, it really is a whole nice chronicle of um, of my whole songwriting lifetime on there. Who produced the CD? David Bianco and myself. And why David? Uh, he's amazing. I, I met a bunch of uh, I met with a bunch of producers when I was going to work on this, and when I went in and talked to David, like he and I just had a very very similar idea about how we wanted it to be. We wanted to be very organic, you know, um, uh, not a lot of layering, more kind of that each sound, each instrument would have its own personality, its own integrity, um, you know, rather than like a lot of pop 
uh, music production nowadays is like, you know, in order to get a big guitar sound, they play 20 layers of guitar. You know, for me, I wanted to say, no, I want to play one guitar and make it sound huge, you know. And, um, and he was completely about that and has had a lot of experience making records like that. He engineered Wildflowers, Pompeii's Wildflowers, and like all, tons and tons of amazing stuff. Um, and I, I mean, I think we definitely pulled it off. Out your skin, I'm naked. Well, out your skin, I'm naked. Mm. <laughs>